Hello everybody, it's Forever Sims. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a super exciting speed build today. Um, so today we built this little farmhouse and it's so cute and I'm like low-key obsessed with it. Uh, it. It's fine. Basically, uh, it's a two bedroom, one bathroom home that is meant to be very rustic and um, like country-esque. Obviously, it's meant to be like a farmhouse. Uh, I'm recording this on the day that the Laundry Day stuff pack came out, and I really wanted to do a build uh, with the stuff pack because obviously I just got it and I was so excited about it. So that's kind of what the point of this build was, was just to be, you know, checking out the items in the new pack. You might notice as I'm going through that I this was my first time looking at it all at the beginning all of the new laundry day items were still yellow and hadn't been looked at yet so yeah it was really exciting and really fun and I really like the way it turned out um, the color scheme is a lot of blue and also like peachy pinks and oranges kind of deal I don't know it's kind of weird but I thought it fit together really well and looked really good so yeah, I kind of envision this being like a grandparent's house and then there's like a child room for, you know, when their granddaughter comes to visit or whatever. Uh, I guess the reason that to me it's like a grandparent's house is because my grandparents live on a farm. Uh, so just like a farmhouse to me feels like grandma and grandpa. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but it's totally fine. Uh, so yeah, I thought that today, you know, we could talk a little bit about the pack. It's been out for a week now when you're actually seeing this video, which is really exciting. If you have the pack, let me know what you think of it in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, I've obviously has, haven't played with it too much. I literally, uh, this morning before I went to work, I looked through the created some items, which I have a story to tell you about work today, but get into that later. <laughs> I looked through the created some items before I went to work because I started at 12 30 and the pack ended up dropping at I think 11 a.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time which is my time zone and so yeah I, uh, I downloaded it as soon as it came out like literally like three minutes after it came out and um looked at all the cast items and I love them. I love the cast items. I think that they're amazing. Okay, I have to tell you guys the pants that came with the pack. When I was watching Lil Simzy's stream uh, on the Monday before it came out and she was looking through all the creative sim items, her and like everyone in her chat had such a problem with the the belts on the pants that come with the pack. Uh, and I really like the belt like I think it's super cute uh, so I felt really like awkward when everyone was like the belt's so bad and I'm over here like I love it but okay I think it's adorable but it's fine um, but yeah I love all the cast items I think they're amazing I love the hairs I love the clothes I wish we had more for the males I really do uh, I always feel like that. I always feel like they never give the guys enough, and it's really sad, but whatever. It's fine, I'll get over it. Um, I love the cast items so much, and I love the build mode items. I think it's so fun. Um, obviously, I had seen them all before from different streams and stuff that I watched, and yeah, I was obsessed. But I didn't have time to look at it until after I was home from work. Basically, I was supposed to have today off, and I was really excited because I was like, oh my god, the day laundry stuff comes out, I have the day off, I can have all day to, like, play with it and check it out. And then this morning, at, like, 9.30, I got out of bed because I slept in this morning because last night I worked till 11, so I didn't get to bed till, like, past midnight, so I slept in till, like, 9. 9.30, I went to make breakfast, I noticed there was a message on the phone. And... I was like, hmm, should I read the message or, like, listen to the message or should I just leave it? Like, what are the chances that it's actually work? Like, I don't know. It's probably not for me. But I decided to listen to it anyways. Big mistake. Because uh, while I was sleeping, 
one of the ladies I work with called and she was saying how she has the flu and she's so sick and she wants to go home early, but she can't unless I come in basically and cover half of her shift because I'm such an amazing person. I said yes and ended up going into work and then I didn't have time to play with the pack like I wanted to. I was really sad about it actually because I wanted to like do my makeup really pretty today and like play with the pack and have a great day but instead I went to work which was fine but when I got home I that's when I did this build that I'm really happy with and I think it's so cute and I'm in love with it um I love the build mode items I love the style of it I don't know why but like the rustic style I really really like I really like doing more kind of traditional styled homes I don't know if you noticed that uh, so they I feel like they really mesh well with the style I decorate in so I'm really really happy with the pack um, I haven't played with the actual gameplay aspects yet but I have I did watch uh, like the last hour of the sim gurus stream when they streamed demoing the pack uh, so I have seen it before and I think it's amazing. I love the uh, the clothesline. I think that's like my favorite thing ever. It's so like pretty to me for some reason. I'm weird. I think clotheslines are pretty, but there's something about the way that the clothes sway on it and the water drips that to me it's just like it's everything. <laughs> it's the best. Uh, so you will notice that this house does have the uh, wash basin and like scrubber and the uh, what's it called? Clothesline. Yeah. We don't have the actual wash machines in this particular build because I just felt like for an old rustic farmhouse that uh, it would be more fitting to do the uh, wash basin and and the clothesline I don't know I just felt like it fit the style of the home better and that's what I wanted to do so that's what I did uh, I also really love the dining room I love the circular dining table I think it's amazing I really hope we get more in future packs because now that they've given me one I just want a million so <laughs> yeah I really hope we get more in future packs I don't use build mode CC I used to but I don't anymore and um so yeah a lot of people are really excited about the different cc we can get now with these meshes and i do i'm really excited for any cc that comes out with the the cast items i think that we're definitely going to get some amazing cc with those meshes but as far as build mode goes i don't use build cc so i mean i'm sure people are going to make amazing build cc with this stuff but i personally will not be using it so it's like a little sad and sometimes I kind of want to go back to using build CC but the reason I don't is because I want my builds to be CC free so that any of you guys can download any of the houses that I've built and play with them and you don't need to worry about having the right custom content and yeah I could make custom content lists but I already do that for creatism so I don't want to do it for builds too I'm sorry I'm just lazy um, so yeah that's kind of what's up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really like the pack. I definitely think it's worth the money, although I am a little miffed. A lot of you guys probably know this, but uh, Origin actually raised their prices in a whole bunch of countries, Canada being one of them, which is where I live. So before, uh, for Canada in Canada, the packs were $9.99, the same price as they were in the US. And now they're like, $12.99 or something like that. Uh, so it's not that big of an increase for the stuff packs, but then the game packs and the expansion packs also went up, and now expansion packs are like $50, which when you work part-time at a grocery store, it's not very affordable. Luckily, we only get expansion packs once a year, so like whatever, but um, I'm someone who, like, I it's really important to me to own all the packs because I'm a freak. Uh, <laughs> So, I don't know, it just kind of sucks because it's like, yeah, I want to own all the packs, but now they're so expensive. And Canada, I think, had the lowest increase. Uh, I think it was Brazil, where the prices of the packs literally got doubled, which I think is ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Like, what they're paying in Brazil for a stuff pack is the equivalent of if they're paying $24 
in the U.S., I think, is what it worked out to. I was looking at stuff about it on Twitter this morning. So basically, in Brazil, they pay the equivalent of 24 U.S. dollars for a stuff pack, which is stupid, <laughs> and I hate it. And I, like, their reasoning behind it is for different, like, currency differences or whatever. I don't know. Uh, so they have, like, their reason for it, but I just think it's dumb. And it makes me really angry. <laughs> And I'm not okay. Uh, yeah, like, when I went to buy the pack, I was like, wait, 12-something? Why is this one more expensive? Like, they did say that it's, like, the biggest stuff pack, so, I mean, maybe they just made it more expensive. Like, that's what I thought in my head. And then I went on Twitter, and everyone was like, Origin raised their prices. And I was like, gosh, darn it. <laughs> now I'm mad. <laughs> like, if it was just this stuff pack that was more expensive because it's like way bigger than all the other stuff packs, then maybe I could kind of come to terms with it. But they just raised all their prices, and I'm like, no, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Not okay. Um, so yeah, let me know if you're being affected by the price increases. I want to know if it's, you know, really uh, extensive where you live, if it kind of breaks the bank for you and makes you not want to buy the packs now, let me know. I'm kind of interested to know. I know a lot of people were saying, well, now I can't afford to get the packs. Like, I want them, but now I just can't afford it with the price increase, uh, which I can kind of relate to. I mean, I don't, I work at a minimum wage job. Like, I, <laughs> I can't really afford that kind of stuff. Yay, but whatever, it's fine. Yeah, I'm kind of annoyed, but I'll get over it. Will I get over it? Probably not. I'll probably be angry about it for the rest of my life, but that's okay. I don't even remember what the game packs are increased to, but I hope it's nothing too extreme because I really want to get the new game pack that was teased to us. It's very exciting. Um, it's like an adventure-esque game pack. If you haven't seen this uh, quarterly teaser, uh, it had Laundry Day, of course, and then in like later winter we should be getting a new game pack. I'm thinking it's probably going to be March, like late February, March uh, type deal. So I'll have to wait and see about that. I'm really excited for it. Although I'm not excited that I'll be paying more money for it, but you know, it's fine. It's totally fine. Um, uh, I'm so salty. Like I'm so, I'm, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm mad about it. Uh, whatever. It's all good. I'm really excited for the new game pack. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It looks very adventurous, and I was <laughs> thinking to myself the other day, like, because people are trying to guess what they think it'll be called, and I was like, I swear to God, <laughs> if it is not called Get Adventurous, like, I'm deleting my game. <laughs> like, I'm uninstalling The Sims 4, <laughs> because, like, I don't know. It was really funny to me anyways. I thought these jokes were funny when we just had to get to work and get together as the two expansion packs. And people were like, are all of the expansion packs going to be like, get something? So now I just think it's a funny joke. And it, I'm probably the only person ever who thinks it's funny, but that's okay. That's, that's okay. <laughs> I'm just lame and I've come to terms with it. Uh, we won't worry about that. Anyways, uh, how are you guys doing? I want to know. I'm doing really good, actually, uh, aside from the fact that I had to go into work today and I was really mad about it. But my friend got me a drink from Starbucks, which was, like, the best. I have the best best friend in the world. I just want to say that. Like, my best friend, her name is Brittany, and she's, like, an actual goddess, and I love her so much. If I'm ever having a bad day, she always, always has, like, a pick-me-up for me, like, the other day. I was having a really bad day, I was having really bad uh, cramps, and it was like so bad that I couldn't even get out of bed for like two hours, like I just had to lay down because it hurt so much, and I told her, because I complained to her about everything, and we ended up working together that day, and she made me like a little care package, it had like two brownies in it and a muffin, and some pain reliever medication, and it was so sweet, and I like died, I was like, girl you are a saint you are a lifesaver and then today she bought me a starbucks drink um my favorite starbucks drink and i was like honey i love you so much like i don't know what i would do without her honestly <laughs> she's the best thing ever she's great she's my favorite 
Uh, I'm so blessed. I am so blessed <laughs> to have her in my life, seriously. Uh, I, how, how could I ever repay her, honestly? Like, those brownies, that muffin, saved me. Saved me that day. Uh, it was worse because that day I wasn't even supposed to work that day, but I took a shift for someone out of the goodness of my heart. And then I said yes to the shift before I knew that I would be having cramping problems. <laughs> And then when I found out that I would be, I was like, are you kidding me? Maybe it won't be that bad. And then it was the worst. So yeah, that's my last story. I'm going to go ahead and go now because this is coming to an end. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below, as well as what you think about the laundry day stuff pack. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this build. I hope you're all having a super amazing day and I'll see you in my very next video. Bye guys.